Gervonta Davis is a boxer undoubtedly talented. By the age of 28, first light, light, and first welterweight, and is also among the top 10 boxers regardless of weight categories. And although critics rightly reproach the American for the absence of first magnitude stars in the track record, it's simply stupid to deny the huge potential of the tank. The undefeated Yankee is a technical thinking boxer with high hand speed, good footwork, and he acts carefully in defense and has just the same frightening power of impact. Gervonta's rivals get not only in the ring, but also outside it. This young man has never been distinguished by special modesty and respect for his opponent. Some of this American's rivals are trying to play psychological games with him, trying to upset his mental balance. However, so far no one has been able to confirm their words with deeds. It's enough to recall the twists and turns of the fight with Liam Walsh, which took place on May 20th, 2017. Right, okay. Most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Coach Clover. Now, the Second world post. title fight world is underway. The left-hander from Albion, Liam Walsh, was by no means a whipping boy. Before the fight with the IBF champion in the first lightweight, Liam had 21 victories with the same number of fights, 14 of which he completed ahead of schedule. Moreover, the level of opposition of the Briton cannot be called bad in any way. In April 2013, Walsh achieved the first significant success in his career, confidently boxing and sending the idol of the Scottish fans, ex-world champion Scott Harrison, to a well-deserved rest. After that, the guy consolidated his success with two victories over the same as him, prospect Joe Murray. And if in the first match he won only by the decision of the majority of referees, then in the rematch, all questions regarding the strongest of their pair were removed. Murray was stopped in the fifth round. In the last fight, before the title attempt, Liam, as they say, defeated the Russian ex-contender for the title, Andrei Klimov, in one wicket, sending him to the ring floor during the fight. Not the worst baggage for a world title contender, but still not enough to be considered a real threat to a boxer of Davis's level. Before each of my fights, I consider myself a favorite, and the fight with Davis is no exception. Yes, he is a good boxer with a very strong punch. However, a blow is not everything. Duels are won by skills, and I'm sure that my skill level is higher. I'm a smarter boxer than Gervonta, and if I act smart, then on May 20th, I will leave the ring with the title of world champion. Walsh had no self-confidence before the fight. Davis reacted to the applicant's statements in a typical manner for himself. Is he better than me? Does he really consider himself a more technical boxer? The guy's probably drunk. I'll bring a pillow to the ring with me. It's clearly useful to him. Oh, 21 wins and no losses. 14 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He weighed in at Messi, the reigning, defending, undefeated IBF super featherweight champion of the world. The tank, Gervonta Davis. So let's just have a good, clean fight, okay? Most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Touch club. Aussie, will that be a problem? So many theories, so many thoughts. Now the Second world out. title fight world is underway. <laughs> Tremendous atmosphere here at the. The initial rounds were not particularly productive and turned out to be not the most interesting for the audience. The duel took place in a cautious tactical confrontation where no one had the clear advantage. Walsh turned out to be a really thinking boxer and in the first six minutes of the fight, he looked quite good in the ring with the formidable favorite. And Walsh is going to be more positive. Nicely punching up with that jab. Well, he's a smaller man, he's a longer reach. Huh? Davis, maybe. Mayweather show shouting to Davis, take your time, take your time. Yeah. Referee had spoken. Quite opening round. KG1, isn't it? Bit of a scouting mission for both boxers here. High guard. Again, Davis falls short with Walsh, which does find the target, and the body shot, and the bell sounds to end an interesting, though quiet, opening round.
Davis suggesting that Liam Walsh was scared when he sat down. To lead off, that's why nothing's happened. to throw a shot, but Davis very clever. And they're trying to get the opponent to lead off. And so far, the Drazza was right into his hands. Did the copper box crowd pulling short with that left hand? Won't commit really. That's a little bit better, but he's got to hit the target there, John. Just missed with that right hand. Sander pushing Walsh back. Good left hand from Davis. Walsh is the signer there of that foot. When he brings his left leg through, he came square. Well, occasionally he comes. Shout his instructions. There's the left hand counter from Davis. He has got fast hand. Third with Floyd Mayweather at the end of this round. At the tight one, but maybe the cleaner shots coming from Davis. Father figure was doing at ringside, and now we carry on into the third. Davis, take that last one for you, Richie. I think so. However, the cautious course of the fight was instantly disrupted. It cost the champion a little more pressure in the third round. The Briton immediately began to miss more and immediately drew the advantage of the faster and more powerful Davis, who began to deliver more and more heavy blows to the goal. Having missed several powerful attacks by Gervonta in the middle of the round, Liam found himself in a rather sensitive knockdown, as evidenced by his staggering during the referee's countdown. The third in the ring allowed the guy to continue, however, after a couple of moments, he was forced to save the Briton from Davis, who smelled blood. The victory of the current world champion is already in the third round. But Davis knows he's hurting and he's going looking for him now and he's trying to finish it here and he puts him the power of Davis and Walsh just couldn't live with it. Yeah, a couple of big shots there, went in from Davis, left hand especially, but Liam Walsh has got to get his hands up, John. His hands are still too low, he's got to get them up. He's on unsteady legs, he looks as though he's gone here, Walsh. One more and it's all over, he stopped it. He's unleashed the power shot. There was only going to be one winner, and of this young man has been just too much, and he was blown away with those powerful... With a couple of really good shots. Let's have a look here. He's in trouble at this stage. There's that one left hand there. Now, Walsh is trying to grab him here. He's just trying to get away from him in terms of the punch. Now, look how low his hands are, John. Then he gets caught with that big left one there, and again, and then he goes to the, to the ground. And that's mainly because Walsh... Did couple of big shots there that could have been avoided. The referee decided, made the decision, and they take another look. Well, that landed somewhere around the ear, and you can see the concern of Michael Alexander. Straight away, he's in there. Straight away, he's in there and says, that is enough. The way, and the street fighter in Davis came off. He wouldn't have been He was there, pushing him away. He knew what to do, John, didn't he? Michael saying, let's have a return, let's go to Vegas. Well, inexperienced champion, he certainly knows how to finish an opponent off. That's 17 knockouts now in the 18th contest that he's had. I'm afraid to say he's going to feel as though he didn't really get into the fight. Words of congratulations for Frank Warren, who really fancied Liam Walsh's chances tonight. Declaring the winner. And still, the IBF. Junior lightweight champion of the world, the tank, Jeff Bonte.